What's up YouTube family? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Dudley, aka Dudley Duds, aka Plant Based Poppy. <laughs> but anyway, man, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the vegan supplements or supplements in general that I currently take as a plant-based athlete. And I'm also going to share with you guys some of the reasons why you might want to be taking these supplements too. Coming up. So before I even get into the video, I'm going to give all my new visitors and subscribers some background information on me. I'm a plant-based vegan athlete. In September, it'll be three years. And I'm a basketball player, although I'm looking kind of beefy like I'm, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a basketball player, a plant-based vegan athlete. And the reason I say plant-based is because I don't feel like having a discussion with people explaining to them what I am. The only thing that doesn't make me vegan is the fact that I eat honey, but otherwise than that, I follow a strict vegan, sometimes alkaline diet. So long story short, I'm a vegan athlete. I know once you guys hit the veganism or plant-based thing, that's gonna come with a whole bunch of preconceived ideas and biased opinions, and that's cool. You know why? Because I'm always open to a healthy discussion and debate. So without further ado, man, let's get into the video. The first supplement I take as a plant-based athlete is creatine. And you don't need anything fancy, I just got this naked creatine and I take creatine monohydrate. This is pretty much the only creatine that you need and I'm not sponsored by naked but this is just the particular one that I take and I'm gonna tell you guys why I take creatine as an athlete. A lot of people are just gonna argue but you get creatine from meat, you, you get creatine from eggs and fish. And while this is true, you won't be it. You won't really be able to get your recommended amount of creatine, especially as an athlete from consuming meat. You would need to consume pounds and pounds and pounds. And for somebody who's a college student like myself, that's just not optimal because that's expensive. And while your body does produce a little bit of creatine, now if you're a sedentary person, you'll be fine. You don't really need to supplement with creatine because you're not doing anything that requires your body to constantly break itself down and repair itself. But if you are an athlete, I would go as far as saying you you really need creatine. Now the reason why if you're an athlete you should be supplemented with creatine, especially if you're a plant-based vegan athlete, is because of this. So basically the body utilizes ATP as an energy system. All ATP stands for is adenosine triphosphate. Now ATPPC is the energy system that the body utilizes for short bursts of energy. So for sports like football, basketball, especially track with sprinters, and soccer, you're constantly utilizing type two muscle fibers and you need that short burst of energy. Creatine actually fuels the ATP system. So that's gonna ultimately make you a more powerful athlete. And notice how I said powerful. That's because unfortunately there isn't much research that backs up the creatine benefits for long distance runners and runners in general, unfortunately. But if you're a basketball player like myself or an athlete that utilizes type two muscle fibers for short bursts of energy, like I said before, track, sprinters especially, uh, baseball, you know, soccer and football, all those kinds of sports, you need to be supplemented with creatine because your body is not producing enough on its own and you're also not consuming enough meat or dairy or eggs or whatever you think you might be getting, you're, you're not getting enough. So this is why I think personally from an athletic standpoint and an exercise science standpoint, you need to be supplemented with creatine and it's so beneficial. Now, in my personal athletic experience, since going on creatine within the last year, I've noticed that I actually recover faster as a basketball player and I've actually became more explosive. Now, that could also be subjective to, like, I trained for explosion, so that could ultimately influence how much type two muscle fiber recruitment I've been getting. But all I'm saying from my personal experience with y'all, if I'm keeping the buck with y'all, <laughs> you feel me? I became more explosive and on top of my already quick recovery time from being plant-based, I'm recovering even quicker, bruh. <laughs> Straight like that. And the second supplement that I supplement with personally is protein powder. Now, again, I'm not sponsored by this company at all, but this is just veggie protein. And the reason I chose this protein powder is because of the simplicity of ingredients, but that's for another video. I'm not gonna review it. I'm gonna just tell you guys why I choose to supplement with protein powder. 
The reason I supplement with protein powder is because just pure convenience. I'm always on the go. Sometimes I have my first basketball skill session in the morning and then I have class afterwards and then I have weights after. It's convenient to just ha have a shake in my book bag and just drink it. And sometimes I'm unable to get the right amount of protein that I need during the day because I'm always on the go. If you're a regular athlete, a plant-based athlete, whatever, I think supplementing with protein powder is beneficial for this reason right here. You're constantly breaking down your muscle fibers and you need to repair them. Alongside getting adequate rest and sleep, you need to make sure that your body has those amino acids and proteins in it so that it can grab them and rebuild your muscle. And that's pretty much the simple reason why I supplement, I supplement with protein. I think the majority of, of athletes, if not all, should be supplementing with protein if they live busy, active lifestyles where they're unable to get the right amount of food every single day. It's so convenient. It's relatively affordable nowadays. There's, there's all types of protein powders. You got hemp. For those of you who are non-vegan, you got whey, but whey does cause inflammation in the joints. <laughs> but that's another story. Protein powders are convenient, and if you're somebody who's on the go, they can help you recover faster and rebuild your body, and that's the reason why I supplement with them. The next supplement that I personally supplement with is B12. I choose to supplement with B12 for this. For one, I'm plant-based. For two, it's the energy vitamin. It's considered the energy vitamin. If you're ever lacking energy, just try taking B12. Now, because the body doesn't actually store B12, you need to constantly supplement with it and make sure that you're getting adequate B12. But this is a very crucial vitamin for getting energy and it's unlike caffeine so you don't crash, meaning that you're not gonna get that instant burst of energy, but over time you're gonna notice that your energy levels are getting higher. So I would highly recommend that anybody, honestly, supplement with B12 and if you're a plant-based athlete or just a plant-based human being or just whatever, man, just get B12, all right? How about that? Just get B12 and you're gonna notice a huge difference in your energy levels and I promise you, your, your quality of life will become better if you're getting adequate B12. The next supplement I take is zinc. And the reason I take zinc is for this reason right here, man. Zinc is key, and I can't stress this enough, key for immune health. I could tell you firsthand what it's like being a college athlete. You're up in the morning, you got practice, you got class, you got games, and chances are you're not getting enough sleep. And when you don't get enough sleep, you're more susceptible to getting sickness and catching things. As if college wasn't already one big cesspool of disease. <laughs> Zinc is extremely helpful for immune health for anybody. And athletes need more zinc than the average Joe, the average sedentary person, you know? So I, I highly recommend you supplement with zinc just to have a, a very healthy immune system to fight off any bacterial infection that might try to intrude your body, you feel me? You want to be strong on the outside, but you want to be strong in the gut and you want to be strong in the inside as well. And also, fellas, zinc actually increases your libido. So you might want to, you know. <laughs> and the last supplement that I personally take, guys, is calcium. Now, there's a whole lot of skewed information when it comes to calcium supplementation, but I always encourage you guys to do your own research. And the calcium supplement that I take is by Rainbow Light. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just take this one because it is a derivative of plant foods, you feel me? It's a whole food based supplement and you can argue that you can get calcium from milk, but why get milk from a cow when it's just a recycled version of calcium? I choose to take calcium for this simple reason right here. I'm just trying to have the strongest bones I could possibly have and a little fun fact for you guys, most athletes get hurt going down eccentrically, meaning that most athletes get hurt on the way down rather than jumping up. And it's, it's very interesting because our bodies are actually stronger eccentrically, but a lot of people just don't know how to land properly or a lot of athletes don't have a lot of bone density. So uh, I, I personally supplement with calcium. I don't take this pill every day, but I do take it once in a while and that's just for me. Do I think every athlete needs to supplement with calcium? I don't, but I just wanted to share with you guys uh, what I personally take, and I think you should guys should you guys should also look into 
calcium supplementation because I always encourage you guys to do your own research, bro. I'm not going to really go too in depth about calcium because there's tons of information out there on the web that you guys can look for yourself. But I wanted to share this video with you guys. So, you guys know what I'm about to say, man. At this point, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell to get notified for when i upload more videos and if you guys like these kind of videos these kind of informative and insightful videos make sure to let me know down below so i can keep on making these as you guys know i am an exercise science major here at the university of west florida and this is my last semester also i do make meal plans personalized meal and workout plans i want to say thank you to all my subscribers who have supported me and became my clients. I love helping you guys reach your goals and I love seeing your results and I love watching you guys transform your bodies, your life and making gains. So thank you guys for supporting my meal plans and workout plans. If you guys are interested in having a personalized plan, you can contact me down below or contact me on my IG. But there isn't much more to say on this video guys. I sincerely love you and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Until then, stay blessed. Oh Outside my misery, I think I'll find